Hey guys, it's Miss Gregory coming at you with Ratios video lesson 1.2 from our textbook. It goes with the maths, 6 point RP, which is ratios and proportions, 1.2. In your workbook, pages 19 through 26, but also the inquiry lab before this, pages 15 through 18, is a good activity to do either before the video or after the video. We might have some time in class um, to work on these and go over the answers, but very important info in the inquiry lab. Don't forget, you need to take notes, so you need your math notebook, pencil, pen, colored pencils, pens, whatever else you need, pencil in the least, and your workbook because some of the problems and examples you're going to work in your workbook. <clears throat> this is the first page from the workbook on the inquiry lab. Starts on page 15, goes to page 18. You should try these on your own. The page 16 tables are very important to some um, lessons that we will be getting to. Okay, this is where you need to have your workbook out and you need to write in the margin some of the notes I'm telling you here as we work through uh, the examples together. Okay. All right, we're back. Um, write a ratio in simplest form. This is your workbook, page 20. You need to write what I have in the margin in your workbook will be fine. Or you can write it out as notes on your notebook paper. But some important things about ratios, um, they must be listed in order. If they are talking about comparing pencils to pens, pencils has to go first. So look for the wording. If they're comparing girls to boys, girls would go first. Whatever is first has to be the first number. <clears throat> Ratios also must be simplified, and we'll talk about that in a second as we go through this example, but they cannot be written as mixed numbers because we are talking about whole quantities when we're talking about ratios. This example with the paper clips is an example of a part-to-part -part type of ratio. Now you can see they've got the definition of ratio highlighted in yellow. And ratio, kind of a fancy word for fraction, a comparison of two quantities by division. We've talked about that fraction bar is a division bar. So if you look at the picture, they're comparing two red paper clips to six blue paper clips. And they have written the ratio three different ways. You're expected to know all three ways to write a ratio with the word 2 to between the numbers with the colon just like you use when you're telling time and when you read that it is still read 2 to 6 and as a fraction 2 to 6. Okay. <clears throat> If you look under example one, they've taken the picture and they've separated it out with one paper clip or one red paper clip per three blue paper clips because it has to go to simplest form. So two six we know can be simplified to one third. You can see the work that the greatest common factor of two and six is two, so that's what they are dividing by to simplify the fraction. So you need to write ratios in order. You need to make sure they are in simplest form, but you cannot change improper fractions to mixed numbers. Okay. Um, they will also ask you about explain the meaning and when they ask that, they mean for you to, in simplified terms, say, for every blank, there are blank. In this example, for every one red paper clip, there are three blue paper clips. That is all they mean when they say, explain the meaning. Okay? Make sure you have everything copied. And we're going on to the next page. I want you to try this got it on your own. 
do the problem right there in your workbook on page 20. Um, the picture is there. You are to write the ratio in simplest form comparing suns to moons. You need to write it in the three different ways of writing ratios as mentioned on the previous page of notes. So pause, try the got it, come back and see if you are correct. Okay, we're back. Check your got it. Notice that they're asking sun first, moon second. Sometimes it'll help to actually write that out and then put the unders uh, underneath it, put the numbers with it. So if you count, there are four suns, there are six moons. So your steps are to put them in order and then simplify them. Four sixths can be simplified, divide both by two. So the simplified ratio is two to three. <clears throat> All three ways are written there as a fraction with the word two and with the colon. The explain the meaning part is for every two suns, there are three moons. You could even draw a picture. Let's see. Two suns to three moons. And then in the other picture out of the circle, you would also have another two suns and three moons. Okay, moving on. This is an example of ratios when you are doing a part to a whole. Okay, um, sometimes that might be an example of there are so many boys in the class, there are so many girls in the class. How many boys are in the entire class? So it's boys to the class, not boys to girls. Part to part would be girls to boys. Part to whole would be girls to the entire class. So again, make sure you are writing down information in your workbook about examples of part to whole. This is where we'll start using the tables and diagrams that are mentioned in the inquiry lab. So with example two, it says several students named their favorite flavor of gum. And you can see the table off to the right, labeled um, with flavor, peppermint, cinnamon, fruit, spearmint, and the number of people who respond. Okay, check your work. Obviously, strawberry is the focus, and we do have to total all of the flavors. Peach, blueberry, vanilla, and strawberry would be a total of 24. If we are comparing strawberry to the total sales, then strawberry is 8 to a total of 24. 8 over 24 can be simplified. We need to divide by the GCF, which is 8, and we simplify this down to 1 third, or 1 to 3. So for every 1, or sorry, 1 out of every 3 yogurt cups sold were strawberry. Okay, now I want you to try the got it using the table below, and follow the directions, come back and check your answers. 
Okay, check your work. Cats to the total amount of pets sold. So you need to add the numbers in the table, which equal 32. Cats are 8 to 32. You can simplify that as 1 to 4. So 1 out of every 4 pets are cats. All right, make sure you copy everything down and then move to the next page. This example 4 on page 22, I tried to break down the steps that they showed you. Um, Katie wants to divide her 30 flowers into two groups so that the ratio is 2 to 3. So you can see the diagram with the boxes. Uh, a bar diagram is what they call this, showing a ratio of two boxes to three boxes to represent the 30 flowers. There are five equal sections. They got this from using the ratio parts. Two plus three is five. And then you've got your two boxes and your three boxes. Of course, that's five as well. Now, if you look, 30 flowers divided into five sections would be six flowers per section. So they've written the six in the boxes, and then you would need to multiply it out. There are two boxes of six, so there would be 12 flowers in one group, and six times three would be 18 flowers in the other group. Okay, I want you to make sure you write this down and then go to the next page. We're going to work a problem from the guided practice, which is number four on page 22. The problem says divide 28 cans of soda into two groups so the ratio is 3 to 4. Okay, you can see I highlighted what was important and that you should be writing this down because you see the pencil. So I have my three boxes and I have my group of four boxes. So step one is to add up the ratio of three plus four is seven. Now I have 28 cans that are divided by seven. So four is going to go in each box. So I'm going to fill in the box with the number four in each box. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply. Four times three boxes is twelve. Four times four boxes is sixteen. So the answer to my question is there are going to be twelve cans of soda in one group and 16 cans of soda in the other group. Okay, Make sure you write down the steps because these problems aren't hard once you know the steps of how to solve them, but they do want you to know how to draw the boxes. It's called a bar diagram. I actually kind of disconnected my boxes so they are not touching, uh, but you could draw one big rectangle and then mark them into the equal sections. You do have to know how to draw this diagram, not just get the answer. Okay, when you're ready, move to the next page. And that is it. Signing out, lesson 1.2, ratios, Miss Gregory.